Hi, I'm John from Just Whiskey. If you like today's show, please give it the thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And thanks for the new subscribers that are slowly trickling. And it'd be nice to uh, get that trickle to more of a steady flow so we can get to that thousand subscriber mark, which is um, one of my near-term goals. Um, so anyway... Um, like, subscribe, consider becoming a Patreon, and remember, it's just whiskey, folks. In today's uh, show, it's just rye whiskey, Canadian whiskey, to be more specific. Lot number 40, Canadian rye whiskey, 43% ABV, made with pot still small batch lot 40 is crafted in small batches using rye grain in a single copper pot still and aged in virgin oak barrels this bold whiskey has been perfected through generations of master distillers this is canadian rye whiskey in its simplest form 43 percent no mention of whether it's chill filtered or coloring added. Um, I'm guessing it's you know a minimum minimum of three years of age. It's no age dated on here, um, so probably relatively young. Um, my guess is maybe there is coloring added to this. Um, it's pretty dark for a, a young rye whiskey, or a young whiskey in general. Um, but I don't know. It doesn't say. Um, and what's interesting about their label is, you know, um, there's a there's a an etched in story underneath the label that you just see some of the words like a worm tub and spirit receiver and percolators and things like that. Um, warm water tanks, but. Uh, But it's all covered up by the label here. So um, I've heard lots of good things about this. And it, it, it is good. Um, I'm more of a scotch guy. But I was intrigued. I've heard a lot of good things about this. So I picked up a bottle. It retails for about $30, $35. So um, it's my opinion, it's worth checking out. This needs time to open up. Um, like a lot of other, uh, this is not a bourbon, obviously, but like a lot of bourbons that I've first opened up, um, you get a, a heavy acetone fingernail polish remover uh, smell. And so um, leave the cork off for a little bit or uh, you know, let it get some oxygen in there. When you pour it in the glass, the longer... You can let it open up the more benefits you're going to get out of it so even after it's oxidized and aerated you're still going to get a, that hint a slight hint of acetone in the uh, in the background but besides that you're getting a, a thick vanilla cream you definitely pick up on that that rye spice um, a rye spice is um, like a very sharp, peppery, sweet sensation. So vanilla cream, caramel, and it's it's almost um, a, a little bit of rummy notes too. Um, so maybe a little bit of brown sugar, slight rummy uh, ester uh, sensations on the nose. Has a uh, medium to light mouthfeel, but an, a nice mouthfeel. It's not very viscous, um, you know, at 43%. It's very easy to drink. I would say it has a medium long finish. That, that rye, spice, peppery bite lingers on for quite a while. 
Um, it's definitely an, a nice, easy sipper. I would not recommend any adding any water to it. And it would certainly be great in um, any kind of cocktails that would require a, uh, a rye whiskey, in my opinion. Um, I do like this a little better than uh, Redemption Rye, and uh, which I've previously reviewed at some point. Um, this isn't something I'd normally, again, I'm more of a scotch guy, but, um, but I do appreciate um, a, a good quality rye. I've, I've heard that they make a cast strength. I can't find it. I haven't seen it anywhere. That would intrigue me. Um, I think this could use a little bit, a little bit higher ABV, if not cast strength, you know, 46, 50%, I think would really, uh, give this a little more oomph, but it's, it's, it's very enjoyable for what it is. It's not something that I would, um, go to normally. How would I rate this quality wise? Um, I think it would probably rate higher than what I'm going to rate it at, but I'm going to rate it at for my enjoyment. For me, this is like an 83, 84. Okay, that's how I'd rate this. So for 30, 35 dollars, if you like rye, or if you'd like to experiment with rye, I think this would be a good one to start out with, and uh, and maybe. A, you know a staple on your uh, on your shelf if that's what you're into so I think it's I think it's a good rye all right um, that's it no matter how much it costs or how good it is folks it's just whiskey so hats off to you all and take care <laughs>